It's a new year. We're ringing in 2020 from the campus of Santa Clara University for this month's episode of the award-winning WCC All Access. I'm Ezra Broder. And I'm Sammy O'Brien. And coming up, we sit down with the head men's basketball coach here at Santa Clara, Herb Sendek. Plus, one of the most emotional and joyous things in sports, a walk-on player earning a scholarship. And talk about a player with style. Tanner Krebs of St. Mary's shows off his unique wardrobe in front of his teammates. But first, the 12th annual WCC Hall of Honor is approaching. The conference honors 10 of the best student athletes to ever wear their school's uniforms. Let's take a look at this year's class of incredible inductees. One of the best basketball players in WCC history, Gonzaga's Heather Bowman laid the foundation for future success. She left the program as the conference's all-time leading scorer and led the Zags to their first ever NCAA tournament berth. Pepperdine's Nina Matthews is one of the most influential coaches in volleyball history. She led the Waves indoor team for 31 years and was a major factor in beach volleyball becoming an NCAA sport. There might not be a better coaching tree than that of San Diego's Hank Egan. He led the Toreros to an NCAA men's basketball tournament and mentored the likes of Greg Popovich, Mike Brown, and Brandy Bennett. Here are the rest of the inductees. BYU's Wally Joyner led the Cougars to their first ever number one ranking in baseball. Terrell Lowry was a two sport star at LMU and was the point guard on the Lions 1990 Elite Eight team. Dell Demps is second on Pacific's all time scoring list. He played pro basketball for a decade before joining the coaching and front office ranks in the NBA. David Kinsella is part of Grape Crush, Portland's cross country machine. His fourth place finish at Nationals is the highest in program history. Ruth Montgomery was a brick wall in the St. Mary's goal. She is the Gales' all-time leader in wins and shutouts. San Francisco's Tag Bozied had one of the best seasons in WCC baseball history, winning the Triple Crown in conference in 1999. And Santa Clara's Allie Wagner is one of the best college soccer players of all time. She scored the lone goal in the Broncos' win in the 2001 National Championship match. The Hall of Honor induction ceremony takes place in Las Vegas, Nevada on March 7th during the WCC basketball tournament. We see those players cheering loudly at the end of the bench. You know, the ones that come up with the fun celebrations. That's right, the walk-ons. And sometimes those walk-ons get rewarded for their dedication to the program, like USF senior Rojin Sharifi. So yes, our athletic director is in here for a minute. She wants to talk to you guys for a bit. Um, no, so, she didn't want to. Yeah, she doesn't really want to. But, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna let her go. But the first thing I want to do is after congratulating you. Um, so we have a Christmas present for you. Yeah. yeah. Woo! moment. Meanwhile, we've seen Gonzaga senior Katie Campbell on this show earlier this season, but today she teams up with her coach to show off their broadcasting skills as they call one of their own plays. Hi, my name is Katie Campbell. Joining me is my broadcasting partner, Lisa Fortier, and we'll be taking a look at a highlight from the WCC tournament. All right, Campbell does a head fake. Floater, and it's good, and one. Campbell got an and one. 
She's excited about it. Look at Jessie Loetta coming in there. Uh, these guys are ready. She wants to make that a three-point play. That was a big play at the end of the game there. St. Mary should have forced her to her right hand. You can't let her get back to her left. She's automatic. Yeah, it's tough. They overclosed out on her on the three-point shot, and she went in for an Let's see, her, her bench, look at the bench reaction. They're excited. <laughs> I can't that was even. a game changer, game changer. Oh, uh, why do they look like that? <laughs> she was... Time to take a break. When we come back, we recap the biggest stories from across the conference over the last month. And the Broncos are off to a galloping start in 2019. Head coach Herb Sendek sits down with Andy Katz to talk about their success and more. WCC All Access is brought to you in part by Nike. We're back on WCC All Access from the Mission Campus of Santa Clara. I'm Ezra Broder. It's time to go down the coast and see what's making headlines around the conference. Portland alum Megan Rapino is the 2019 Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year. She's the fourth woman to garner that honor. The former pilot led the U.S. to the Women's World Cup, winning the Golden Boot as the tournament's best player. She's also used her platform as a vehicle for change and progress off the field. Congrats! Meanwhile, her teammate from the national squad, Julie Ertz, is the U.S. Soccer Female Player of the Year. The former Santa Clara star has won the award twice, being recognized for her all-around play on both sides of the ball. Records are made to be broken. Just ask Colby Ross, who's now Pepperdine's all-time leader in assists. The junior guard broke the record in 49 fewer games than Jeremy Major, who's now second on the list. Ross has more assists than any other junior in the country. In Moraga, say hello to a new basketball arena, sort of. The Gales will now play in the renamed University Credit Union Pavilion after striking a deal for naming rights. Same building, different name. The change takes place immediately. And a leadership change in Los Angeles as Jenny Binden moves cross town. The former Olympian is the new head coach of LMU Women's Soccer. She previously was an assistant at UCLA where the Bruins went to two of the last three college cups. The former goalkeeper played in two World Cups and two Olympic Games for New Zealand. The Santa Clara men's basketball team is off to its best start in decades. Now in his fourth year as head coach, Herb Sendek has his sights set on a conference title in the postseason. He sat down with Andy Katz to talk about the high expectations and more. A lot of injuries last year, a little rough start at the beginning of the WCC, then a strong finish. You know, the way you guys were playing toward the end of the season, how much was that what you wanted to see out of this group? Well, we, we really found ourselves in adjustment mode a great deal. We ended up really going through the season with two true guards on the entire roster. Um, so we had to adjust and we had to plug some holes. We didn't have a great um, deal of depth and we had to kind of jerry-rig how we practiced. Um, but once again, I think the silver lining is our guys were challenged. They were put in positions to really have to grow and develop. And uh, hopefully that will pay dividends moving forward. You've been all over the country. You've coached at all levels. Uh, what has made this a good fit for you? Well, first, um, we have amazing leadership at the university. Uh, certainly our athletics director, Renee Baumgartner, is doing a fantastic job. We have a new president, Father Kevin O'Brien, who's absolutely uh, brilliant. Um, but for me, the university has a spirit and, and has values that are really consistent with what I believe in. And so it's, uh, Which it's been a great fit. It, it's, it's really hard to put into words, you know, but if you spend any time on our campus, um, you could tell it, it's a place with a great spirit and any parent who would spend any time on campus could, could easily say, boy, this would be a great place for my son or daughter to go to school. At this point in your career, um, what, what motivates you the most? I just love coaching. I, I love coaching. I love teaching. I love being with the guys, whether it's on the court in the afternoon at practice. Um, I just enjoy the camaraderie, the part of, you know, the feeling you get when you're part of a team. 
Um, but then I love teaching. I love coaching. I love trying to build something and make it better. Stoudemire! No! Kicked out! Santa Clara wins! Santa Clara has a rich history. Um, you know, this is a league that you know, potentially could have some really good rivalries if, if everyone's good at the same time. In the Bay Area, in the college space, there's a vacuum. Uh, no offense to Cal and Stanford, but I mean, you know, there, there's, there's spaces there for you, for St. Mary's, for USF. How do you capitalize on that? Well, you just got to keep working to get better every day, just like those other programs will. And, you know, there's ebbs and flows in every sport. Um, you know, St. Mary's certainly um, has been sensational, so I don't know that there's necessarily a void. They've done a pretty good job of sustaining success now. Some of the other programs you mentioned have had recent coaching changes. Um, so, but we're, we kind of stay in our own lane and, and worry about ourselves and keep trying to get better. If in February we're talking about Santa Clara, what has happened? Well, you know, you got to stay healthy. You know, your, your, your key players have to be on the court. And so I think if we could stay healthy and uh, continue to get better really on, in, in all areas um, from where we sit now, you know, we have, a, we have a chance. When we come back, what's trending on social media? We'll check out the best tweets and posts from around the conference. And Tanner Krebs helps set the tone for St. Mary's on the floor. But off the floor, the senior is a trendsetter. We go inside Krebs' closet up next. Of the best moments on social media. High fives all around after a historic night in Los Angeles. Eli Scott posted the first triple double in LMU history. 21 points, 13 rebounds, and 13 assists. He's just the fourth men's player in WCC history to accomplish the feat. Way to go. How's this for an honor? Portland alum Christine Sinclair was named the Canada Soccer Player of the Decade. The former pilot led Team Canada to bronze medals in two of the last three Olympics and has the second most goals in women's soccer history. And it's never too early to talk baseball. A trio of WCC players are named to Baseball America's preseason All-American teams. Gonzaga's Alec Jacob and LMU's Nick Frasso are on the second team and LMU's Trevin Escara is on the third team. We're on the campus of Santa Clara for WCC All Access. I'm Sammy O'Brien. Well, St. Mary's Hoops is known for its influx of Australian players, and with that Aussie connection comes a different sense of style. Senior Tanner Krebs gives us a little taste of that style as we go inside Krebs' closet. <laughs> Bring him out. Okay, that little strut, the smile. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see the pose. Okay. Okay, got the little swag mop. Okay. 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 Uh, I see his ankles. Exactly. I see his ankles, you know, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we give him a seven. I'm giving him a six. It would have been a seven, but I can see his, I can see his shins. <laughs> if he had some socks on, maybe, just maybe he would have got a seven. I'm giving that eight. I like the same angles. I'm I... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <true. laughs> <laughs> so I like that. Like, you should do the worst. <laughs> like, worst? Worst. Who, who'd be the worst? Uh, Randy Bennett. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Off camera, no, 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 put that. Cut the camera. <laughs> Cut the camera. <laughs> A 10. First, when you came out, you looked like the Grim Reaper <laughs> with your hood on. But after you took that down, that was that coat, beautiful. I think I'm gonna give you. I think I'm gonna give you nine. I like the trench coat. You know what I'm saying? For the trenches, okay. The kicks is the reason why you got a nine. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that coat. Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. I'll give you an eight. We're being generous. I actually kind of like I, yeah, I actually kind of like that. I told him the next one, whether it's good he or not. That, he actually wears that one. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, I don't care how good it looks, he's getting a zero. <laughs> we gotta give you a low score on this, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that overall. <laughs> Those boots, not a big fan of boots. Only thing I like about this outfit is your confidence. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you a one for your confidence. I don't know if you work for Daily's Catch. In case you're wondering, this is a negative 10. Alright, it should be the other way. There we go. I'm gonna have to give you a zero, mate. <laughs> First of all, it looks like you came off the farm and I can see too much skin. Yeah, it's a tough one. It's all right, I'll learn. I'll learn from this and um, wear these every day from now on just to annoy you guys. <laughs> <laughs> With seven freshmen on its roster, LMU is trying to find its rhythm on the court. But off the court, look no further than junior Parker Dorch to keep the Lions beat. It's kind of fast. Yeah, that is kind of fast. Is there a different one? Yeah, that, that one's pretty fast. Yeah, that, I don't think that was it. What was the first one I said? Uh, this one? Yeah, I think it was that one. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this one right here. So right now, uh, you know, we just found a beat. The, just found a beat that I like, so he's about to pull the beat up. This is where all the magic happens. So. This is becoming pretty common. It's called a Fruity Loops FL Studio. Like, you know how in actual studio they have the mixer board. It's all digital and I, digital, just to get his levels before he starts recording. <laughs> Through the late night, yeah, yeah. Got no sleep, it's alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run on through my mind, yeah, yeah. We gonna be just fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. We usually work whenever we're you available. You know, he's a basketball player, he's got practice all the time. I'm a bio major, I got class all the time, so. You know, I, obviously I play basketball, like, but like, I like making music too. Like, I have a real passion for music. Because my favorite artist is Frank, uh, Frank Ocean. So, you know, I'm really like a singing slow music kind of person. So that's how I got started with that. My boy Dame, he gonna be just fine. My boy Joe, he gonna be just fine. No, never cut the line. Follow with my boy Yvonne. Yeah, we gonna touch the sky. No, never cry. Shout out Eli and my boy Kelly. He moving slow motion. Small team, he got the potion. Yeah, yeah. That's all we got so far. <laughs> One more block to go. Coming up, want to go to Vegas for the WCC tournament? We tell you what to watch for in the coming weeks. And we see them on the court all the time, but what are our basketball players and coaches like off of it? Find out up next. Here's what to watch for in the coming weeks. It's never too early to get your tickets to the University Credit Union WCC basketball tournaments. Circle January 16th on your calendars. That's when you can head to WCCSports.com to buy tickets. The tournaments start on March 5th at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. And if you haven't seen them already, check out our weekly social media segment called Cats Chats WCC Hoops, either in video or podcast form. National college basketball reporter Andy Katz talks with a different men's or women's WCC player or coach each week. You can see it on the WCC Hoops Twitter account or on the WCC's Facebook and YouTube pages. Welcome back to WCC All Access. I'm Ezra Broder. You can get a sense of the players' and coaches' personalities by watching them on the court, but it's probably best to hear it straight from them. Let's learn more about WCC Hoops student athletes and coaches, including some things you may not know about them. I can't whistle. So that's probably, you know, most people probably can whistle. I can't whistle. 
I can clap with one hand. Let's see it. That is freaking amazing. I did not know that. Um, I've been playing the guitar since my junior year of high school. Uh, not too good, no. I'm guessing he's pretty good at it. Yeah, he's good at everything. I like jumping off of cliffs into water. Uh, I actually don't like heights at all. I despise them. I can do a Rubik's Cube. That is not true. I promise it's true. Can someone get a root? Is that true? Very yeah, true. Like how fast can you do it? My fastest was like a minute ten. So you were one of those kids. <laughs> I was one of those kids. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm the uh, second best athlete in my relationship. My wife was actually a star volleyball player at St. Mary's and uh, she's a much better athlete than I ever was and ever will be. I can flip my eyelids inside out really fast. Can we see? Yeah. <laughs> Love shoes, like like picking out shoes. I'm just kind of obsessed with how they look. Uh, I've discovered uh, a few years ago that I hate wearing shoes, so it doesn't really work. Um, so now I have you know, nice shoes that I don't wear except for two hours a day. I have a 65-gallon uh, saltwater fish tank that I do enjoy um, managing and trying to add and make better. So yeah, I'm kind of kind of a fish geek that way. I grew up on a Black Angus cattle ranch and I started up my own little herd of five cows. I uh, started by bottle feeding uh, a calf and then just grew my herd from there. But I, I had to move on from that when I came to college, so. Yeah. Tough to fit the cow in the dorm room. Even though I shoot right-handed, I do pretty much everything left-handed, like writing, uh, eating, brushing my teeth and all that. So when people see me write, they always say, you're left-handed? That's probably one thing most people don't know. You're that guy, huh? That'll do it from Santa Clara. Thank you for watching WCC All Access. We leave you with some of the best plays from the last month of action around the West Coast Conference. See you next time. Now the Lions have numbers. Alifia lobs it for Scott, throws it down! Oh my goodness, Eli Scott powers it in with the right hand. Billy's gonna brush her defender off, but a switch out by Bayless. Now a step back to Good by Tillman at the buzzer. Perfect execution by the Tigers Jr. Uh, I went down early. Throw it down. Corey Kispert off the lob. I didn't know he could throw it down. TJ Haas gets the steal as he throws it. Oh! A rare! Huh. By Haas. Harding with two dunks, TJ with a dunk.